Hey, g'day. I'm just going to do a, a video on how to fix the single player map. As um, it's been an issue lately where Atlas have been doing a lot of changes to the, the live build, but then not updating the single player map with the, the constant changes that they're actually doing. And it's worth noting that with the server grid editor, you can actually make a map for yourself and have that map actually become your single player. So you can actually make your own map if you were actually willing to give it a go. So what you'll need to do is actually download the server grid editor. And once you've had a chance to actually load it up, uh, you'll be presented basically with a create project or a load project screen. When you choose to load the project, it will give you the available projects that actually come by default. The current map will most likely be called servergrid.json. Whereas there are actually a couple of examples of uh, different grid sizes, 2x2, 3x3 and 11x11 is actually the old, one of the older maps. Um, and so depending on which one you actually want to work with, probably keeping in mind that um, some of the features on the newer maps might not actually work. Uh, as of the time of recording this, the trade winds don't actually work in single player. But once you've actually done that, you will be given the map in here. Uh, I'll just zoom in a little bit so we can see what's going on with some of the stuff. <clears throat> so this is the map itself that would end up being loaded into my single player if I chose this one. I can actually put things like the trade wind overlay on there and I think it shows ship parts. And so the black lines here are basically the trade ships as they go around and then we can actually see the graphics for the trade winds themselves for traveling fast around the map. Uh, and yeah, so this will be the map that I'm interested in doing. Once you've actually loaded the project, it's worth noting that uh, if this is a live build, it may have the live project ID in there. Because when you actually edit, so if we go to project and edit, we can actually see in here there is an Atlas ID. I've already changed this one, but if you leave it as it is, it may actually be an ID that's already in use. So to get a new one, basically go to project and create. It will tell you that you're going to lose your stuff, but that's fine. You won't actually close the current project. When you create one, you get a new ID. Copy this ID. Go back to your existing project, go and edit it once again, and you put your new ID in that place. From there, you will go to export, you'll choose to export all, choose a directory, uh, I've got an export directory under my server grid editor, and it will start loading everything that you've actually got here on the screen. And this can, at least for the, the default map, take quite a while. I've actually had it run up to 15, 20 minutes before it actually finished editing. And I did notice that um, sometimes it would fail throwing errors. I did need to come into the edit project and change it from JPEG to PNG. Uh, I don't know that that actually did it for me, but when I had it on PNG, it was the only time it actually succeeded in its edit. So that's worth noting, but whether or not it was really that or whether it's just a bit of a flaky software, I don't really know. Uh, and as I said, if you really want to, you can probably look at all the resources online for editing your own map if you really want to, and you can create your own one of these and load it into the single player. When it is done, in your export folder, uh, I've got an 11 by 11 here, which we might just get rid of because it's going to confuse things. Uh, it will come out, depending on the name of what it is that you were exporting, in my case I was looking at the server grid, it will create the server grid.json server only and a folder called server grid. If you do choose to export the 11 by 11, which was actually in there before, it will give it an 11 by 11 and you need to remove that. The, the server will require servergrid.json is this very specific spelling. You don't want anything after grid. And you will need the server grid folder. Uh, normally this wouldn't be there because the single player is using its own built-in stuff, but this will actually provide the images for your map. If you don't copy across the server grid folder, then you won't actually be able to open up like the atlas inside your uh, menu or you won't be able to pull up the map properly uh, and it'll be missing the images. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy all three files here into your actual Steam folder. So in Steam, it will be under Steam Apps, Common, and then the particular game you're looking at. So in, here, in this case, we're looking at Atlas. Under the Shooter Game, you will find Server Grid. And I've got a couple of copies of different ones in here. But you just paste those three directly in, replacing all the files that are there. And then, basically, you're done. We'll fire up the game and we'll have a look at what is actually there. All right, so we jump in. I've got a character that's already loaded in there. We won't bother resetting that at this point in time. We just want to see that the map actually exists. And not only does the, the game world exist, but the map itself. So if we were to go into the Atlas within the game, we'll actually see that we can see the various islands and so on and so forth. 
All right, here we are as the graphics are loading in. Uh, this does look to be roughly where I was before. Uh, so we shall just pull up the map itself. We can actually see here we actually have there is a fog of war. But it looks like I've actually cleared it. Not sure why that's actually done. You can kind of see a little bit there. I did a bit of flying around earlier, so I've actually got some of the map revealed with this current character. We can zoom out. We can see the trade winds. A little bit that those trade winds don't actually exist. They just come through because it's actually a copy of the image files for each of the various grid tiles. And that was what was in that server grid folder. And so if you delete that server grid folder, you'll end up having this all as black and you won't be able to reveal anything. So it's worth noting that you do actually need that. But I have a game world and I can play around and do what I want. Albeit, as I said, you don't have the trade winds to work with. But yeah, that's how you actually fix single player map. Again, you can actually do what you want to do with these maps too. So you can actually create your own version of a map and muck around with it in the single player. Just keeping in mind that um, when you actually play on single player, you're only actually loading a single tile at a time. So I'm here on B8. So this is the only tile that's actually loaded at this point in time. I'm going to travel over to the next one, it will load that tile. But B8 won't be running anymore as such. And an actual server which is running something like this 11 by 11 it requires probably a server for every two grids. So it needs quite a fair bit of grunt to run a whole bunch of these Atlas servers. Anyway, let me know what you think. Let me know if you found it useful. Otherwise, um, yeah, happy sailing in your single player environments. And I guess lastly, it's worth noting that I'll leave links down in the description uh, for where you can actually find the server grid editor. And I'm going to see if I can actually create a uh, place on my Discord where I can upload the files for this one that I've actually generated. Given that it took so long to generate, I kind of want to keep it and not lose it. And that way people, if they want, they could come in and they can ask me on my Discord where it is and I'll keep it in, pinned in a uh, folder somewhere. And, uh, well, hopefully I can. If not, I'll create a Google Drive uh, directory that I can share or something along those lines where people can just come in and download it. It might be a bit easier than uh, having to generate one fresh every single time. 